take you through the highs and lows from the first full week of Patriots practice. I'm Sierra Goodwill here with Evan Lazar. Evan, you were there for most of it. You had your eyes on the guys. The quarterback competition was the number one storyline all week as it was expected. But I think there were some other guys that really stood out unexpectedly. One star or one standout of the week for you. Well, I'm going to go with Gunnar Olszewski to start because really I think what we've seen from Gunnar is that he's basically reinvented his body. You know, this is a guy that's a lot thicker. He's got a lot more meat on his bones. He looks the part of an NFL receiver now. You know, last year when he showed up to camp, you're like, is this a guy from Foxborough High or is this a guy from <laughs> Patriots. Now he truly looks like an NFL receiver and carries himself like an NFL receiver. On top of that, the explosiveness in his route running, the ability at the top of the route to separate, all of those things have been apparent here. And he's really been, I would say, other than Edelman and maybe Mohamed Sanu, the best receiver in show so far this week. And on top of all of that, you obviously know about the ability as a punt returner. So once they get the ball in his hands in space on offense, he's going to be able to create with it as he would on a punt return. So a lot of good things from Gunnar Olszewski. I think at this point, he has kind of surpassed the Damari Bird, surpassed the Jacoby Myerses of the world. And he's sort of in his own category now as you know, kind of that wide receiver four right now on the depth chart. And I also think the rookies were probably more impressive than anticipated, especially because of the short or zero playing time that they had leading up to this week. It was all mental reps and up to them really studying and getting to know the system on their own time. And I think they really showed up. Is there a star amongst that group from this week? Oh, it's got to be Kyle Duggar. I mean, honestly, on Wednesday's practice, I don't think I've ever heard of a rookie dominating a practice like that in New England so early on in a long time. I can't remember the last time they've said, you know, a rookie's got two picks, two pass breakups. He's all over the field. He's tormenting his quarterbacks. He's making plays. He's around the ball constantly. And what we've seen is not only that ability to be a ball hawk and to be constantly around the football, but also play multiple roles in this defense, too, in a short order. A lot of things pointing up for Kyle Duggar, who's a big physical fast, smart, instinctive football player. And when you have that combination of size, speed, and instinctiveness, that's why you're around the football all the time. And that's what we're seeing with Duggar so far. I think the Patriots are extremely excited with what they have with him. I think they have, feel like they have a defensive playmaker on that side of the ball, regardless of where they end up lining him up. And we got to talk about the lows of the week. And there's, you know, a few injuries sprinkled in here. There are a few absences, but has there been a player so far that you wished you saw more of or better from this week? It's got to be Adney Kajus. You know, I really was kind of hoping that Kajus, and I know internally they were hoping that Kajus was going to take that right tackle job by storm. What we've seen is a really rusty player. Now, granted, this guy hasn't been on a football field since 2019, January of 2019, when he ended his career at West Virginia. That was the last time he was in an organized football activity. So obviously there's going to be some rust and there's going to be some rawness to his game already that pre-existed before that. So I think what we're seeing out of him is just sloppy technique, Footwork is out of sync. You know, just things that you would see from a guy that's had a long layoff. And we haven't quite seen Kajus play at the level that we expected him to. And Jermaine Illuminor is basically the leader in the clubhouse, the front runner, whatever word you want to use to start at right tackle because Kajus is not exactly taking things by storm. So I was hoping for more out of Kajus. I, I really was. And I think what we're seeing is, you know, nobody with that type of layoff almost a year and a half out of football that's you know going to be a big time ramp up period for anybody. So I think Kajus is probably going to end up being sort of a swing tackle sixth offensive lineman in his rookie season and sort of learn from guys in his first year really as a Patriot because last year was basically a lost season. Well, for all of our Patriots training camp coverage, you can find it on our website at clnsmedia.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel over at Patriots Press Pass. Patriots Training Camp Central is brought to you by Manscaped. Get 20% off and free shipping using the code MAX20 at manscaped.com. Take your grooming game to the next level.